Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I can't believe March is almost coming to an end, guys. Time flies so fast. I say this every single time in my monthly favorites video. But I really want to show you guys the products I've been loving this month. So such as, you know, bath products, hair products, and beauty products. But before that, I want to say, oh my goodness, exactly seven days until I move to Japan. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And I can't wait to show you guys my life there and bring you guys with me. So I hope you guys will look forward to these kind of videos and also I'll be doing more vlogs so keep an eye out for that but anyways let's get into my March favorites so let's get into it all right so let's start off with the non-beauty products first so starting off our March favorites which one should I show you guys okay let's show you guys this so this is such a beautiful fragrance bottle and this one is by Mont Blanc and this is the Lady Emblem Elixir fragrance. Now this one is in the Eau de Parfum formula so which means that it's very strong and it's very long lasting. So I'm someone that likes to wear very strong fragrances and also EDP is my favorite perfume type. I just don't prefer EDT Eau de Toilette just because it's so soft and light and this doesn't last on my skin. So you know give it an hour or two and you can't even smell it on me anymore so it just disappears and this is the reason why I love EDP fragrances because once I spray it on from the morning and during the day until night I can still smell the base note and it smells amazing so it just lasts all day and night so I just feel like it's such a great investment um, to get the Eau de Parfum instead of the Eau de Toilette. Now this fragrance smells amazing. It's hard to describe, you know, just telling you guys words, but the best I can do is to say that this has a rosy, woody, and oriental smell. And I love this kind of fragrance. If you're a bit shy of wearing EDP during the day, you might be able to wear this at nighttime or for events. But for me, I like to wear it all day and night. In fact, I might spray some now because I haven't sprayed it today. So I like to spray around my chest area here but sometimes if I want to I can also spray it on my clothes and if I spray on my coat or my scarf and it smells so nice just because if you spray it on fabrics it actually holds the scent so much better than on the skin and even after washing your clothes you can actually smell the base notes of the fragrance which is so enjoyable. Okay, so the next product I'm going to show you guys is, ta-da! So it's a body wash by Bare Living. I don't know if you heard about this brand before, but I haven't. And my friend from Instagram that I met, German, he looks after this brand. So thank you for sending me this product to try. And this product is amazing just because this one smells so nice and fresh. Now, if I were to describe it to you guys... It is a very fresh, citrusy, and slightly floral scent, and it just smells so good. Oh my goodness, it's so fresh. And when it comes to body washes, I either prefer a floral scent or a fresh and fruity scent. And when it comes to body washes, I like to leave out of the shower, you know, smelling very fresh and light, but also feeling rejuvenated. And this product is amazing. And it just makes my skin very clean, fresh and hydrated. And the best part about this product is it's also animal cruelty free. And it's also free from any harmful chemicals such as sulfates and parabens. And also stating here, on the bottle it also says that it's powered by bear oils and also made from synthetic free ingredients so if you're someone that doesn't want to use products that have harmful chemicals such as parabens and sulfates and also doesn't test on animals so maybe you might find something that you like from this range Okay, so the next product I'm going to show you guys is a hair product and I have been obsessed with this product and its smell this month. And this is the Swatchkoff. Oh my gosh, I can't even pronounce it properly, sorry guys. And this is a new fiber therapy hair oil. So this is a spray type. So what you do is you just grab this and you just spray it on the ends of your hair and maybe sometimes on the mid length is quite nice too. But the one thing about this product that really got me is the smell and it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it just smells amazing. So let me just spray some here. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells... Oh my goodness, I'm so obsessed with this. I might put some on my hair actually. But it smells so nice. It has a very beautiful rosy and woody oriental smell. And it reminds me of a fragrance I have at home. But I can't quite put my finger on it. I have to get back to you guys if I ever figure it out. 
but it smells amazing. You have to really go into stores and check it out for yourself. It is divine. When I first sprayed it on my hair, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I just kept smelling my hair and my hands the whole night. And what you do is you just give this a good shake just because it is, um, it's not mixed in together with this ingredient. So you have the oils and you also have another product that floats on the top that's kind of cloudy. So you give it a good mix and it mixes into this really beautiful like mango looking kind of um, concoction. But it's amazing. So basically what it does is it reconstructs and protects your hair fibers and it gives it shine and suppleness. And it has a leave-in uh, with the Omega Plex, which is also aka uh, Olaplex kind of similar ingredient. So right now Olaplex is very popular to use in salons and when you dye your hair as well. So my previous hairdressing um, session when I went really blonde, I always use Olaplex with it just because I feel like it really protects the hair, especially when you're bleaching your hair a lot. So if you are going blonde, I think it's best to look for a hairdresser that does use Olaplex just so it does protect your hair and it just stops it from, you know, um, breaking and getting brittle and dry so easily because then it just keeps it very soft and moisturized and it protects your hair from the bleach as well. So what you do is I like to use this every time I wash my hair. So what I do is I'll wash my hair, I'll towel dry and then I blow dry it lightly and after that then I'll spray some on my hands and my palms. And then what I do is I just mix it up with my hands and rub it together and I just go through and comb my hair at the ends. And sometimes I like to use it on the mid lengths as well just to make sure that you know it's very healthy from this area downwards. I don't really use hair oils on my roots. I feel like it makes it very shiny and it makes it look as if you haven't washed your hair in days. So if you don't like that look, I wouldn't advise you to apply hair oil on your roots just for that reason alone. So that's why I like to start from the mid lengths and down to your ends. But mostly you do want to focus on the ends because that's where your hair tends to break and show the split ends. So you do want to focus on the ends a little bit more. Okay, so the next product I want to show you guys is the Lush Popcorn Lip Scrub. Now, I love this stuff so much. It's amazing. It just helps to exfoliate your lips and it leaves it feeling very smooth and just removes any flakiness, especially in winter if you tend to get very dry and flaky lips. So what I have to do is I like to apply lip balm every night before I go to bed. And when I wake up, any excess skin that needs to be taken off, I just use this lip scrub and it just removes any excess skin. And basically, it just leaves my lips very soft and smooth. So especially when I wear liquid lipstick, or lipsticks every day and you really want to make sure you have a clean and flat base for your lips so your lipsticks will look really nice and smooth now this product smells amazing so oh my gosh I think this month in my monthly favorites all my products that I like right now are all very nice smelling it smells like butter popcorn or like butter scotch it just smells very yummy and you can actually eat the sugar so basically you can actually eat this and lick it off if you like it's okay it's not going to harm you at all but you can see that it just packed on really nicely so this will last you for such a long time and for ten dollars it's such a good steal and also there is the bubblegum flavor that I have and I used to use it and I really like it as well but I do prefer popcorn better and also in Christmas time when they have their seasonal products they also make the Santa Claus one which is in the red packaging and it is a cola flavored one and it tastes so good and I love it so much I just love cola flavored candies and products so I really enjoy that one for Christmas now you don't have to do it every single day because I feel like if you do over exfoliate it can leave your lips feeling very um, dry sometimes for some people so you don't want to overdo it so it's like exfoliating your face I prefer to do it once or twice a week so you don't need to do it every single day all right so now it's time for the makeup product so starting off with I'm going to show you guys the primer I have been loving this month so I've been using this almost every single day and you might have seen me use it in my previous makeup videos and this one is a nip and fab smooth viper venom primer it doesn't say primer however it is a micro blur gel which means you know it does help to blur out any of the pores that you've got so especially when you've got large pores like I do because we have oily skin so our pores tend to be a bit larger than usual so that's why having these kind of products that help to blur it out and also minimize the size of your pores is also very important into making sure that your face and your foundation will look very smooth and blurred out so I would compare this to the Benefit Professional because I have used it before and I finished it but I didn't repurchase it because I'm someone that likes to try a lot of different primers so it's very rare for me to repurchase a primer 
because there's so many out there and I actually finish it very quickly so I like to try a lot, a lot of different products so if you're looking for an alternate that's a little bit more affordable they can check this one out and it's amazing because it keeps on makeup lasting all day and night and it just makes it very very soft and mattified and the good thing about it is that even though it mattifies my skin it doesn't leave it feeling dry or make it look dry at all so the good thing about these gel types of formulas they really smooth out the skin and it doesn't highlight any dryness or any areas that might be bumpy or have any textures so if you're someone that has like acne or if you have like dry skin you can still use this and don't have to worry about highlighting any dry areas or any of your bumps and your um, other textures on your skin okay so we're almost done guys the next part I want to show you guys is this little guy here and this one is the Laura Mercier caviar eye stick now this is amazing especially when you're someone on the go and you you know don't have time to do makeup in the mornings and you just want to put something on your eyes then these kind of cream eyeshadow sticks are perfect because as you can see just twist it up here and I'll just try and show you guys hopefully it just focuses a little bit more but you can see that when you just apply it on your hands like that it's so creamy it's so smooth it's very very pigmented as well and you can see how shiny that is so it's almost like a metallic kind of color so it's like a metallic golden kind of coppery tone and I love it for every day in fact for my everyday makeup I use this so often as my eye primer so when I get lazy and I don't want to use like my actual proper eye primer I just pop this guy on and I just blend it out with my fingertips and then I just apply eyeshadow on top and it's perfect enough to help it last all day and night on my eyelids. Now, of course, it's not going to be as perfect as a proper eyeshadow primer. However, it's just great on the go, especially when you're in a rush and you just want some color on your eyelids. So comparing to other eyeshadow creams that I tried, this stuff actually lasts a little bit longer than those. And it's amazing. It's been lasting me for so long because you don't even need that much product and it just goes such a long way. So it is quite pigmented as you can see from my swatch from before so one swipe and you get a full coverage okay so the next product I want to show you guys I've been loving this month it is the it cosmetic CC cream now I've been using this every single day and it is my go-to everyday face product just because I prefer BB or CC creams for everyday kind of makeup looks I only ever wear stronger foundation if I am doing videos like this or if I'm going out from day to night or going out somewhere special or for an event but for every day I prefer a lighter texture for foundation that's why I prefer CC creams it doesn't make my skin feel very heavy at all and it's so lightweight but it offers an amazing coverage you'll be surprised that this CC cream actually packs a punch in coverage it almost feels as if you can build it up to a full coverage foundation and I love it so much and it also has 50 SPF UVA and UVB which is such a plus especially during summertime when it's really hot and the sun is out and you want to protect your skin then this stuff is amazing because it's so hard to find a really nice foundation product that does have a very high SPF coverage now when it comes to the longevity of this product it does last all day however it does have a semi dewy finish so if you're someone like me that's very oily and goes very oily during the day it's definitely better for you to have a bit of powder on the top and just to Mattify your skin texture or else if you leave it all day tonight you'll get very shiny and it might not look good in photos so if you're more of a dry skin type however this will be amazing on your skin and your skin will love it okay so the last makeup product I want to show you guys is tada these are the NYX liquid lipsticks and it's a lip lingerie range and I love it so much in fact I'm wearing it today and this color is called bedtime flirt I can't believe I finally tried it because everyone was raving about this last year and it finally came to Australia finally these colors are the perfect colors for you to go to for every day any event any outfit any kind of nude lip color it is perfect for that so you can wear it with any eye makeup any cheek makeup and the color is so nice just for every day and it's so natural and keep an out guys because I do plan to do a swatch and try on video for you guys so you can see how the other colors look on me Ta-da! So that's the end of my March beauty favorites. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me show you guys the products that I've been loving this month. And I just can't believe it. It's gonna go. I'm gonna go to Japan soon. I can't believe my dream is coming true and I'm making it happen. And I've been thinking, should I do a what's in my travel bag video? Like, would you guys like that? Because I do have a lot of people watching my what's in my bag video. So I do plan to maybe do a travel one and show you guys what I'm taking with me. 
or maybe I should do one because I do have a lot of products in my suitcase and it is packed so you might get bored if I just showed you everything so maybe I'll just do like um, a what's in my travel bag video but you know contain the necessities and the products that I always have to have in my travel bag so I might do that for you guys um, in a few days but thank you so much for watching my video guys and I'll see you in my next one bye